This work presents intelligent camera control using behavior trees. Currently, cameras in virtual worlds are pretty boring. They are usually user-controlled or avoid occlusions while following a user around. However, real cinematography has much more variety. In those cartoons to the right, you can see an over-the-shoulder shot, a bug's-eye view shot, and a rack focus shot. Our goal is to create smart virtual cameras. The idea is that you will have a virtual world where smart events are occurring in real time. The cameras then react to these smart events with cinematic shot choices and intelligent edits. If the cameras are intelligent, they should follow certain rules and principles. Here are a couple examples. Leave negative space in front of the actor, the 180 degree rule which states not to cut from one side of the action to the other, and the 30 degree rule which makes each cut different enough from the last. We use behavior trees to get the cameras to respond to these rules and events. When a smart event is detected, it executes the appropriate behavior tree. Starting from the top, the left subtree simply tells the camera if there is no event, simply wander around aimlessly. If it is assigned to an event, in this case a dialogue event, it goes down the right side of the tree and executes the appropriate shot idiom. Let's say there are two actors in the event in this dialogue. The camera is responding with a shot reverse shot idiom. Here we visualize the actual shots, a wide shot, over the shoulder shot, and so on. Behavior trees are great since we can easily author new idioms and reuse modules to create more complex shot types. Smart events provide the information necessary to shoot an event. When a new smart event occurs, it assigns the camera with appropriate information. As the event unfolds, it updates the behavior tree. This is especially important in a game so the designer does not have to script every possible scenario. Smart events already provide information for aging and AI and now are novelly extended to control our intelligent cameras and provide the necessary variables for their control. Here is a demonstration of our editing GUI. The main window can be assigned to any camera, master track, or be user controlled. Across the top, the cameras are color coded and fill in space as they are added so we can visualize their final result. The yellow window in the left is the master track, which is the final video the user will see. Let's start with two simple events. First, a ball rolling down a slope, and a ball rolling down an obstacle course. The red camera is automatically assigned to the first event, tracking the ball rolling down the slope. It cuts between different shots while filming the ball rolling down. The green camera is tracking the obstacle course, trying to keep the ball visible at all times. Now we trigger a crowd scene. The priority for the crowd scene takes precedence, so the master track switches to cover the event. The blue camera now tracks this event. Our GUI allows the user to bring up options to tweak the filming. If we change the option to helicopter, it switches the view to film from above. Let's take a look at a more complex scene, a user-controlled penguin walking into a pub. As he begins walking, the red camera is assigned to the film and establishing shot. It cuts to different shots to keep the penguin visible even in the enclosed space of the pub. Once the penguin reaches the stork, he engages in dialogue. The smart event triggers the dialogue behavior tree and it starts filming the appropriate idiom automatically. Our camera follows the 180 degree rule while filming. Now we change some settings. We can make the camera cut more often or shoot from far away. We can also program different styles like a born 24 mode. Notice now the red camera has the shaky feel found in many of these action style movies.